In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create hanging frame morph transition slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks. As you can see here, I have created this three hanging frame, which is hanging with the help of this nail. And then I have added some a background here. When I click, you can see here the first frame comes with the image of the Dubai downtown here. All right. So when I click, it will show me the second one which is of Singapore and then third and this is the Manhattan all right so depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease these options and you can add the image of your choice as well please share like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes from the rectangles i'm going to select the rectangles rounded corner draw a rectangle depending on the requirement and you can see the small orange point just drag this outside a little bit and then shape outline make it no outline then align center align middle the next thing which i'm going to do is go to insert shapes i'm going to use the circle hollow from the basic shapes draw a small circle hollow here by holding the shift key you can see it looks something like this all right and i'm going to place it like this and then i'm going to add one more towards the right hold the control shift key add it to the right and make sure that the equal spacing is there the next thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these three shapes. You can see here, go to the shape format, merge shape, and I'm going to make it fragment. Zoom in, and you can see here, this all those things which is here I've added, I'm going to delete this. Okay, this one and keep the others. And then I'm going to select all the shapes, go to the shape format, merge shapes, and I'm going to make it a union and shape outline make it no outline so it looks something like this then bring it somewhat down okay and then go to the insert shapes i'm going to add a nail here so i'm going to use the shape which is the uh, the summing junction draw a small uh, summing junction by holding the shift key you can see here and shape outline make it white and shape fill make it black so it looks like this is kind of a nail okay you can just put it here and give a shadow effect I'm giving a shadow effect and you can increase the distance you can see here and again if you want to change the angle you can just change the angle here all right so once this is done I'm going to insert a rope here for that insert shapes from the lines I'm going to choose a freeform shape so I'm just going to click here starting from here here in the center and then here and double click this one all right so it looks something like this and make sure this one to bring front so it looks like it is kind of a hanging now before that one what we need to do is uh, we can change the background and and we can just uh, make it a kind of a uh, different background so that for that go to insert shapes select a rectangle cover the rectangle whole slide shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give your any color so i'm going to use this kind of a blue color and send this to back all right so now this color i'm going to choose and make it a white and the rope color also i'm going to make it a white all right and increase the width okay and for this you can give a shadow effect again i'm going to give a shadow effect which is this one and again you can change the distance you can see here it looks kind of a more of hanging and for here also i'm going to give a, a shadow effect okay so for this also you can give a shadow effect and you can or maybe the shadow effect which is the center one i'm going to use and you can increase the distance or the the size okay a little bit i can increase it so it looks something like this we can see here the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this one all right and before copying i'm going to add one more rectangle here in the center 
and give a different color to it shape outline make it no outline and this uh, curve make it less curved here okay and then I'm going to draw it in the center all right so it should look kind of a frame I think this is okay I believe okay so once this is done what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this one one to the left and one to the right okay so hold the control shift key first of all select all the objects except the background and then hold the control shift key add one here give a little gap, gap and then hold the control shift key add one more here give the same gap here all right so it looks something like this the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this white frame only the white frame should be visible okay this border only otherwise i cannot see the background here so first of all what i'm going to do is i'm going to press ctrl d and duplicate this one and i'll keep it for my later use i'm going to select this shape hold the shift key select this one shape format merge shape and subtract so you can see here only the frame is there now so now again select the same thing subtract here also i'm going to subtract it okay the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to make the same uh hole or cut out you can see here from the background okay so again now i'm going to copy the same thing here all these things you can see here so now let me just select the background hold the shift key select these green rectangles again go to the shape format merge shape and i'm going to subtract it okay the moment i subtract it you can see here it is looking something like this all right so now what happens here is once i did this one i can just go and insert any image here so go to insert online image or image from your local pc also you can add it so let's let me just add an image of a singapore okay i'm going to choose this image click on insert and i'm going to put it like this and if i send this to back it looks something like this you can see here it looks something like this all right so now let me just bring this to front sorry select the image bring to front again move this here outside of the slide area all right and go to insert picture i'm going to insert other pictures like for example I'll, I'll just select Dubai and you can just choose any image maybe I'm going to choose this image click on insert okay here the text is there so let me just delete the text and Dubai picture I'm going to insert and the same size I'm going to make it and again if you want to add more uh, images we can add the images towards the right okay and before that one what we need to do is I'm going to select both these images picture format send to back okay so this is my very first slide you can see here my first slide it, it got nothing okay now I'm going to duplicate this slide and move this image here okay only this image has to be visible you can see here then duplicate this slide and now move the second image which should be visible in the frames okay which is like this now i'm going to select the last two this one uh, slides go to the transitions make it morph and i'm going to make it only one second and then now when i click the first image comes then comes the second image so you can just add as many images as you want depending on the requirement